the word of the Lord uh, and let us look to the Lord. Uh, what God has given to me to share with you today is on the glory of God. Can we say that? The glory of God. And I believe this is going to be a series. I, I don't think I can end uh, it today. It's, it'll be a series most likely. Uh, it's going to uh, go on for a couple of sessions. It is on the glory of God. Hallelujah. Are we excited to hear about the glory of God? The Shekhanai glory of God. Amen. The Shekhanai glory of God. Amen. You know, we are living in an evil world. We, we see the situations around us, dear children of God. The laws that are passed around us is, uh, uh, you know, uh, we see that the laws that are passed, it is, uh, they are, you know, they are allowing support of marijuana, drugs, they are allowing, you know, all kinds of evil things, they are allowing gambling to start in the state of Virginia, there's all kind of things, evil is increasing and it's spreading around, but today I want to talk to people who are remnants in the kingdom of God. Amen. I want to talk to some people who consider themselves as remnants in the kingdom of God. These are people who, are, who want to encounter the glory of God. Amen. The remnants are people, dear children of God, who want to encounter the glory of God in their life. Amen. They do not want to be part of the status quo. They don't want to just come and go the way they are, but they want to experience the power and the presence of God in their life. They want a moment like Moses had. They want to have moments in their life where God is speaking to them, dear children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And God is looking for some remnants who, like the song that we say, as the dear pans, some people who are thirsting for the presence of the living God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We need to thirst for the presence of the living God. And God will reveal his glory this morning time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Dear children of God, as you are listening to this word today, I pray that you are asking for God's presence to touch you. I pray that you may ask for a transformation in your life, that the glory of God may be revealed in your life this morning time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us be in prayer as we listen to this word of God. Amen. The first time the Shekinah glory is revealed, the, uh, the, uh, the Shekinah glory, the glory that is visible and the luminous glory of God is shown in the word of God is in Exodus chapter 13 verses 20 to 22. Exodus chapter 30 verses 20 to 22. Scholars regard this as the first place where the glory of God is revealed to the children of Israel. And can we read that particular verse, please? Exodus chapter 13, verses 20 to 22. 1, 3, 13. The Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light. Uh -huh. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day or the pillar of fire by night from the people. Amen. So here we see the word Shekhanai means the dwelling, the dwelling glory of God. Amen. Here we see, dear children of God, that the Israelites who are going to the promised land, the Israelites who have been saved from the bondage of Egypt, the Israelites who have been redeemed by the blood of a lamb, the Israelites who have walked out of sin, who have walked out of the times of bondage, who have an, uh, who has an experience with God and who wants to worship God and who, who God has called to worship him, these are the people who are encountering the glory, Shekinah glory of God. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. These are the people who are encountering the glory of God. It is not the people who are still in Egypt. It is not the people who are still in bondage. It is not the people who are still under the clutches of sin and keeping their life dwelling in sin. They will not encounter the glory of God. Amen. It is only the people who are the remnant, who are walked out of their place and say, I don't want a land of Egypt. I want to go to the promised land. I want to go and worship the Lord. Let me tell you, God's glory will be revealed in your life. Hallelujah. God's glory will be revealed in your life. Amen. You will see the glory of God that is shining in your life like no others can see. If you believe it, you can worship the Lord today. Hallelujah. If there are some people who want to receive it, they can acknowledge it in the presence of God today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You will see the glory of God. Even when you wake up and go outside, you see the glory of God. The Bible says in Psalm 19 verses 1, the heavens declare the glory of God. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God. Now, there is a part of the glory or there is a part of God that, uh, that cannot be approached by flesh. Okay. There is a part of the glory of God that cannot be approached by flesh. And there is a part of the glory that is revealed to man. Now, the part of the glory that cannot be approached by flesh, it is when in Exodus 33, 18, we see that Moses is asking God, Lord, show me your glory. Amen. Lord, show me your glory. It is the Moses who has seen and who has talked to the Lord, but Moses knows it is the Moses who has seen the pillar of cloud and fire. It is the Moses who has talked the Lord face to face. But now Moses is saying something. Show me your glory. That means there is another realm of glory that Moses has not seen yet. Hallelujah. There is a realm of glory that Moses has not seen it. And when Moses asked God, show me your glory. God says to him that no man can see me and live. Hallelujah. No man can see my, this part of my glory and you can live by seeing, uh, seeing this part of the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that is why, let us read 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 16. That is why in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 16, there is something written about our God. Amen. Who has immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach, who dwells in an unapproachable light. No human eye has ever seen him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so, dear children of God, you know, this is the glory of God that no human eyes has ever seen that particular glory. And there is an example God has given on the earth to represent that kind of glory and that, that, that unapproachable light. You know that God is light. Amen. And he, here we say is the unapproachable light. And an example God has given in this earth for revealing his glory is the sun. Amen. It is the sun. The sun is around 93 million miles away. And you know, standing at 93 million miles away, think about it, 93 million miles away, the sun is still giving heat on the earth and light on the earth. Okay? If you take a plane to go to the sun at 600 miles an hour, you know, that's the sp uh, speed in which the Delta Airlines and American Airlines all go 600 miles an hour, you will take 17 years to reach the sun. If you take a car to go to the sun, and you're driving to the sun, it will take 200 years to reach the sun. Okay? But the sun is so, uh, it is so bright, and it's an it's a energy generating device. It's, it's so powerful that around a million miles away from the sun, you will, be, you will become fried. You will turn to ashes. Okay? You'll become fried chicken if you go around a million miles away from the sun. Okay? That 
is an unapproachable light. It is an example of an unapproachable light. You cannot approach it because, you know, uh, and the, the size of the sun is uh, around 864,000 miles. You know, they say that around uh, 1.3 million Earths can fit into the sun. 1.3 million Earths can fit into this particular sun. Hallelujah. Oh, and you know what? God is saying, see, I made that. See how awesome I am. See, I made this, this sun that you cannot even approach. That the earth even, you know, the more closer you go to the sun, you will be burned. So you have to, to enjoy the benefit of the sun. You have to stand at so much far. Then only you can enjoy the benefit of the sun. Hallelujah. Amen. And God, so you God is saying, see, I am the God who made even that. Amen. See my glory. Glory to God. Amen. And that is why God is saying, the heavens declare the glory of God. So every time in the morning you wake up and you see light around you and you see the sun, you can glorify God because it is his creation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The sun is so, you know, but let me tell you in Revelation 21, 23, we see that God dismisses the sun. He says that no longer in my city the sun is required the glory of God will light up the city. Hallelujah. The Lamb shall be its light and the glory of God shall light up the city. Amen. But to be in that light of God, dear child of God, we cannot go with this mortal body and that is why God gives us a glorified body. Amen. And that is why God gives us a glorified body because this mortal body cannot see the glory of the living God. Hallelujah. And so one day, dear children of God, we will receive a glorified body. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, how many of us are excited that one day we will receive a glorified body. Amen. That can handle the light. That can handle the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. That is the glory of God. And now, but there is a part of the glory that God has revealed to mankind. There is a part of the glory that God has revealed to mankind. And this is the Shekinah glory. This is the glory of God in various ways, in various forms that God has revealed to mankind. And I want to talk about Check in our glory cloud and, and, and more about that. Amen. There is also in the Old Testament, you see the Shekinah glory of God. In the New Testament, you, when you come, you see that the glory of God is tabernacled in one man. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The glory of God, if you want to see in human form, that is in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us read John chapter 1 verses 14. John chapter 1 verses 14. You need to quickly take it with me, brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of God became flesh and it says he dwelled among us. Or another word that is used in another translation. He tabernacled amongst us. Amen. The Lord, the word tabernacled amongst us. And we beheld his glory. Amen. We beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the father. Amen. Full of grace. So if you can see glory of God in a human form that is in our Lord Jesus Christ we behold the glory of God hallelujah so if you want to see the glory of God you need to look at the life of our Lord Jesus Christ amen praise the Lord in Matthew chapter 17 verses 5 we see on the Mount of Transfiguration we see that the glory of God being revealed amen 
We see the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says his face was shining like the sun. Hallelujah. His face was shining like the sun and his clothes were white as light, the Bible is saying. Amen. And a, and a bright Shekinah glory cloud surrounded that place, dear children of God. And when the disciples saw the glory of God, they fell down afraid. They hid their faces as if they were afraid. Amen. Glory to God. When they saw the revelation of the glory of God, they became afraid. Amen. And they saw the power and presence of God. And John who was present over there again saw a greater revelation of glory in the book of Revelation. He sees the Lord. Hallelujah. He see, when he sees the Lord, his head and hair as white as wool. His eyes like the flame of fire. His feet like bronze refined in the furnace. Amen. Amen. Out of his mouth come a two-edged sword. Hallelujah. We, he sees the glory of God. And the Bible says he fell down over that place when he saw the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. God is wanting you and me to see the visible glory of God in our lives, dear children of God. How many of us can pray, God, open my eyes to see this kind of glory? Hallelujah. Open my eyes to see this kind of glory, O oh God. Hallelujah. What John saw, what Moses saw, what the disciples saw, what the people of God saw. Lord, I want to see in my life. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Can the remnant cry out for such a glory? Can a remnant cry out for a move of God in their life? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There needs to be some people who are thirsting for an encounter with the living God this morning time, dear children of God. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. John saw him in his glory. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We see, let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. Amen. So it is written over here, the God of this age has blinded the eyes of the men of this world. Amen. Who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Amen. The glory of Christ should be revealed to them. Amen. By the gospel, by the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ in our life, what are we understanding? We are understanding the glory of Christ. Hallelujah. We are understanding the glory of Christ, dear children of God. Amen. The glory of uh, Christ should shine on them. Amen. By understanding more about Jesus, we are understanding more about the glory of God. And this glory of God should shine on them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, that is why Paul says, when he was in the prison, and in the book of Philippians, Paul is saying that, that I may know him. Hallelujah. Paul who sat with Jesus, who spent time with Jesus, who got the revelation of Jesus, who was taken up through even the third heaven. Paul is saying even in the prison, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Hallelujah. That Paul is saying that what I have seen is not yet enough because I need to know him more and understand more about the power of his resurrection. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The glory of Christ that is revealed. In fact, Paul is saying, dear children of God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That sin is an interruption to glory. Sin is an obstacle to glory. That is why we read in Romans chapter 3 verses 23. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Amen. That means every time you sin, you are falling short of the glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
That means every time you walk in righteousness, you are walking from glory to glory. Amen. Hallelujah. But every time you sin, you are going away from the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you will say, oh, I don't feel God today. I don't feel like praying today. Oh, hallelujah. It's not you. It's because something is lying inside, dear children of God. There is something that is wrong that you need to cast out. Something is wrong that you need to change your behavior. Something is wrong that you need to transform your life so that you may be revealed the glory of God in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we see that sin is an interruption to glory. Hallelujah. That is why in the old, uh, I won't go into that. Hallelujah. Uh, maybe next time I will take that. Hallelujah. But we see that sin is an interruption to the glory of God. Let us go into, uh, let us read 1 Corinthians 10 verses 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 1. Uh, 31, sorry. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, you do it all to the glory of God. Hallelujah. That means if you drink a glass of water, you should not be drinking independent of God. Amen. When you drink a glass of water, you need to remember that this is given to me because God is gracious and all glory to God for the food and the water that I drink. Hallelujah. So think about it. If God decided to stop what he gave to you. If God decided to stop. You know. Why are we giving glory to God. Even for food and water. Because uh, you know. If God decided to stop the food that you get. Or he decided to stop the air that you get. He thinks that. Oh, for a moment let me stop the air. The oxygen for a moment. And, and you know. Uh, you know. Let, let the people be like that. You know what will happen. Hallelujah. You know if he stops what, the sun for a moment. You know what will happen. If he stops the rotation of the earth for a moment. You know what will happen. If he stops. Hallelujah. The ozone layer. And he cleans that out. You know what will happen. You cannot even walk out dear brother and sister. Amen. Hallelujah. So everything you see is for the glory of God. Amen. That is why when you eat or when you drink, you do it for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Oh, you thank God, God, you have given me the privilege to swallow this food. You know, there are mo moments in my life that I, I have, Lord, I thank you because I'm able to walk. Because, uh, you know, when, when you get sick, you know the value of walking. When you get sick, you know the value of swallowing the food inside. Hallelujah. They don't need to put a tube in you, brother and sister. You can swallow properly. Amen. You can glorify the Lord this morning time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. So all that we do is for the glory of God. Let us go to 2 Corinthians 3.18. And we see in the Corinthians after uh, Paul is describing so much of the glory of God. Amen. It is written that now... Uh, we with unveiled faces beholding as in a mirror. In another translation it is uh, uh, written that when we meditate and reflect on the Lord Jesus Christ, when we see him, when we see his glory and his mirror, when we meditate on that, we are transformed from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How can I be transformed from glory to glory? You need to meditate on our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to study and know more about the Lord. You need to reflect on what God has done in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to remember that he died for you on the cross of Calvary. He delivered you from the clutches of sin. Hallelujah. Who else has paid such a great price? Hallelujah. To save mankind. To save you and me. Even from hell. Even from damnation. Lord himself came and gave his own life on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. And we can give glory to God, dear children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why, you know, the remnant, when two or three days you pray, you do not pray, what happens? You feel lost. You feel uh, something is disconnected. You feel that, you know, you, you have lost in touch with the glory of God. You have lost in touch with the communication with God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is why we need to, dear children of God, meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. Meditate on the word of the Lord so that you may be transformed from glory to glory. Amen. Transformed from glory to glory. Hallelujah. So here we see dear children of God. Amen. Now, uh, uh, Moses once experienced, Moses experienced this glory of God. He once went into the top of the mountain. When he went to the top and he spent 40 days with the Lord. And when he came out of that, the glory of God came even throughout his skin. His face was shining. His skin was shining. Why? Because he spent so much time in the presence and in the glory of God that that glory of God came shining through his skin. The people looked at him and say, Oh, we cannot see you. You know, you look like an angel. Hallelujah. Because he spent time in the glorious presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. When we, when we read that in Exodus chapter 24, verses six, uh, 16 to 20, it is such a beautiful portion of the word of God. It says that the glory of God was shining there and Mo Moses walked into the glory of God. When you read those portions, when you get time, you can read it. I don't have time to read it today, but maybe next time. Hallelujah. But you will see the glory of God was shining through his face. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, the glory of God on your life should impact the atmosphere. The glory of God on your life should touch others. Amen. Hallelujah. People who have not experienced the glory, when they come and encounter a person who has experienced the glory, they should know, oh, this is a child of God. This is a man or a woman of God. Hallelujah. This is a daughter of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The glory that comes through you should touch the atmosphere, dear children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That glory should touch the children. It should touch young people's lives. Amen. When you receive from the Lord and you give unto them. That's why Paul says that I receive from the Lord and I give unto you. Hallelujah. He received things from the Lord and he gives it to the people, dear children of God. Amen. So we need to experience the glory and those who have experienced the glory will touch the atmosphere. Amen. They will shift the places where they go to. When they pray, things will happen. When you pray in somebody's house, healing will happen there. Miracles will happen there because you have encountered the power and the presence of God. You have encountered the glory of God in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, dear children of God, let me tell you, this is the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the truth. And we need to desire this morning, God, fill me with your glory. Hallelujah. How many of us can pray this morning time? Lord, fill me with your glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, dear children of God, we need the glorious power of God upon our lives this morning time. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Next time I will talk to you about, hallelujah, the places where the glory of God, the Shekinah glory of God was revealed. Amen. Hallelujah. But today, let me tell you, dear children of God, God wants to reveal his glory in our lives. Amen. We, the remnant of God, needs to encounter with God. Hallelujah. Our children should not be children who have not seen the glory of God, but they have children who have walked in the glory of God. Amen. They have an encounter with the living God in their life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we believe that, dear children of God, today? Hallelujah. Can we ask the glory of God to touch us this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Let all the eyes be closed in the presence of God this morning time. Hallelujah. Let us ask the glory of God to shine upon our hearts and our minds this morning time. 
Glory to God. Oh, how many of us will ask God, show me your glory? Glory to God. Is there some hearts that are thirsting for the living God? Is there some hearts that are desiring for the power and presence of God? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can receive. Lord, I want to see what I've not seen in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. As I'm putting my steps into a new year, let the steps of God be with the revelation of your glory. Shabala rikabara basiya. Shabala rikaman abasiya. Hallelujah. Oh, can we worship the Lord, dear children of God? Oh, where can we see the light of the glory? Hallelujah. What John saw in the island of Padmos. What Moses saw. Amen. The pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. Oh, the presence of God will fill the house of God. Oh, if you believe it, dear children of God, if you believe it, his presence will touch your life. It will transform your life. Oh, hallelujah. You cannot allow sin as an interruption. You need to walk from glory to glory. Shabala rikabara vasiya. Rimala rikabara vasiya. Hallelujah. Let there be a move of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Today we can ask God, Lord, I surrender my life. Lord, I want to experience your touch. Oh, just worship the Lord for a moment today. Can we glorify the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, do not restrain yourself, dear child of God. The Lord is moving in our midst, amen. Amen, he is moving in our midst. He is looking at our lives today. Shabala rikabara basiya. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The God of the sage has blinded the eyes, but your eyes are open. You can see an open heaven. You can see the touch of God. Oh, hallelujah. If there's any sickness, then will be healed in Jesus' name. Every bondage in your body will be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Shabala rikabara basiya. Every problems in your family, in Jesus' name, believe that God will touch it in Jesus' name. Shilara kabara basiya. Oh, God will touch your home. God will touch your life. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't want to be the same as I was yesterday. I want to transform life. I want to walk from glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Shabala rikabara basiya. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Dear children of God, if the enemy has been touching anyone's life, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we bind and rebuke the works of the enemy. If any power of the enemy touching families, in the name of Jesus, we cast out every works of the enemy, and in the name of Jesus, we declare the victory of the Lord. Glory to God, glory to God. Every sickness, every power of the enemy touching the lives of people in Jesus' name, we bind and rebuke it today. Shabala rikabara basiya. Glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Dear children of God, we not just hear a sermon and go, but we need to walk in the power and the presence of God in our lives. Hallelujah. Let your own life, your prayer life change. Let your, amen, let your encounter with God happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is faithful, dear children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we all are praying today, let me ask uh, Pastor Parthib and Joseph to say a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, Master, Lord. Lord Praise Lord. the Lord. Lord, when you descended, Lord, when Solomon ministered in the temple. Praise the Lord. Ascension and glory just filled the temple. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray right now that that same ascension and glory. Praise the Lord. Lord, into the sanctuary. Glory to God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Jesus, hallelujah. That we become the carriers of this glory. Carriers of this presence. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, Lord. We praise you. Thank you. Empower every one of us, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. May the love of the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. Amen. Let us give glory to the Lord that has given us the victory this morning time. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.